Welcome back to JRF Mechanical. Today I'm going to show you this cool little tool I got from Amazon. And basically, this little block, you get to drill with a drill bit into a wood. And say you want to have that angle cut going in instead of trying to take a screw and go through here and split. So let's just show you a little demonstration here. You get your vise here and say, I want it set right about here. Okay. And you can say, okay, about like that. Or you can hold it by hand. Then you'll have some other sizes and these stoppers. Say you want it to stop at this point or you cannot have it, whatever you want to do. And then these are the different sizes that you put on right in here on this other side. I'm sorry. And you can put it in there for the different sizes of the drill bits that they gave you. You can probably use the others, but you only got a few sizes to work with. I'm going to take the smallest size. I'm going to go ahead and I did a little bit, but I think this little stopper is going to have to come off because I don't really want it. Okay. So then here we are, and then I just kind of go. There you go. And it came out just a little bit right there. So, there you have it where you can use that block to drill your holes. Let's try doing it with it the way it is by holding it by hand and see how that goes. but come back more. Let's come back away from that edge. That didn't really work very good. It didn't really work. And it took a little bit of the aluminum off. So, let's see what else we can do. I know it didn't come with any instruction manuals either. So, I think... You're going to want to, I got that out as far as I can, and the, uh, and the uh, chuck. So, let's see what happens again. Let's try another angle here. Come back a little bit. See, it's making me want to move all over the place. So, you definitely need to clamp it. Okay. And let's try again. Okay, that seemed a little better. Let's take that back out. Yeah, and there it is. So, this one's the one I'm talking about. This was when I was trying to hold it by hand. See, and then what you can do next is get a regular um, dip in. And let's say you're, you're ready to install this. Okay. Let me get a long screw here. All right. And we're gonna put this in right here. And we're gonna install this. And there you have it. So, that's a nice way of 
a little bit of a split there a little bit but there you have it so when you install this screw in you can come in this direction instead of cutting coming like this with your screw you can pre-drill this with that angle block and it would help out so that's the reason why i got it so that i can um get some of those angles a little nicer by drilling and you probably could say well why do i need to buy it well i only got it for a few bucks it wasn't that much i'll say we were to just do this i'll say we do this uh without the block okay all right so now i gotta think okay maybe right about oh see that didn't work so kind of go like this then come in and you really don't know where Okay, that's where I came out. Let's see what we can do now, doing it like that. And you say you don't want to be a professional uh, installer, trying to build maybe tables or chairs. So that little piece didn't last. Okay, let's do the one that we just did. So now, kind of isn't really where I want it and it went all the way through so um, and if you were to put something else there hopefully that that would work out if you had another block right here that you're trying to attach to so you're gonna have to get uh, mastered at that by getting your angle um, then versus using this block so you say, okay, there's the angle right about there. So you kind of want to, and that one we got was here. So somewhere a little bit there or here, you're going to want to start out not here. And then you'll go right out the edge. So you have to come back a little bit. So by clamping that, that hold it, and it made it so you could get that angle better. So this is, would take a little more practice. Let's say we were to try one more time here to demonstrate this let's get that bit back in here now we got that ready we'll clamp it and last time it was about here so let's come up here and go this way a little bit i know that that's not very focused clamp it in place and let's try that see how that did I know that's not very really focused but just temporarily get this out of the way got some more wood shaving again okay um, let's flip the bit out and go ahead and back to the deal here and we'll put this in And let's retry this again. Oh, a little bit better than that first one. So you can see my first one was right there. And look what it did. So I'm just a little bit more over because I came in just a little bit. So now this is pointing in that direction. Then when I get my other piece of wood here, it's going to be more in the middle of it. So... There's you the advantage and disadvantages of having this. And after using it three times, yeah, it's going to start eating a little bit of aluminum. But, oh well. So there you go, gentlemen, ladies. Hopefully that will give you some thoughts on purchasing that tool. It's, uh, I think it's not bad for a few bucks to, uh, if you want to get this kind of a setup and the cut up you together all right well thanks for watching and it seems like every time i use this hercules got a got electric smell just on the very first beginning it's not even that old either uh you can get a little bit more money from your jobs you might as well just invest in a little bit more money in your tools and don't
be buying something like this cheap. That's when I got free, but you know. I mean, it works, but they'll get you by doing in house repairs by yourself. This is a little bit more step up, but then you might want to get like a DeWalt or a Milwaukee, or maybe you'd like to get a Craftsman. I've been using Craftsman for years. So just try to take in consideration that this is for you, this is your investment. And try to make a little more money into your tool than say, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, maybe you don't have a lot and you just start out with a $20 drill, sure. But this is a little bit better because it's got that clutch. Uh, it's got some features here. Got this. And you got a light. Look at this one. It's just a drill only. It has a light, but it turns off right away. Where this one stays on. And it kind of makes it. Another thing I think about, where is a light? Is it here or is it down here? And this helps light up your work. All right, well, thanks for watching and thumbs up. And hopefully we'll continue some more videos for you guys. Thanks.